All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different for you. Um, so each and every week, I have to take care of the snakes that I have at my house. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video on me feeding my snakes. Let's do it. Okay, so my two other king snakes, my gray band king snake and my Arizona mountain king snake are just recently hatched from this year, so they're pretty small. So what I am using is pinky mice, which is the smallest kind of mice you could get, and they are frozen. So what I gotta do first is I have to thaw them out and then feed them to the snakes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some hot water, put it in this container, and then I'm gonna soak two mice in there and heat them up, thaw them out, and then feed them to the, uh, to the snakes. All right, so I got the mice soaking in the warm water, and for you that want to know, um, you can get these frozen pinky mice at any local pet store, um, Petco, PetSmart, any reptile shop. Uh, they should sell uh, frozen pinky mice in order for you to uh, feed your snake without having to feed them live baby mice, so. All right, so now we just gotta wait about five to 10 minutes for it to soak, and then we will be able to take it up to the snakes. All right, so right here we have the two king snakes. Um, I have them in this container at the moment because of feeding. So what I did is I actually got these snakes about an hour ago and placed them into here so that when I feed them, they're not in their enclosure and they won't become aggressive because if you feed them in their enclosure, when you stick your hand in their cage, they will think that you were there to feed them and they may bite later on. So we are going to feed, let's see who's in here. Okay, so we're gonna feed the gray banded king snake first. And as you can see, this is a very pretty snake. Um, I actually just recently got this snake. Uh, I'm gonna see if it's in the, mood, in the mood for eating. Hopefully it is. And hopefully this goes according to plan because a lot of times you'll actually end up with a snake that doesn't feel like eating. eating. But we're gonna see if this guy will take his little mouse. Seems to be interested. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but he just took it, which is a really good thing. But uh, I'll give you a little bit closer look without disturbing him, but there you go, right there. He is eating. All right, so I'm pulling out this mouse right here. This snake is a little bit more crazy acting than the other one. But you can see how pretty that snake is. There's a baby Arizona Mountain King snake for you right there. This snake is much pickier with eating, so we'll actually be pretty lucky if it eats for us. And you can see he's definitely not as interested as the other one. So I'm gonna leave that there for a second. Okay, look, he's actually getting a little bit more interested. He's Sniffing it out a little bit, checking it out, and oh, oh, he bit it. He bit it, but that doesn't mean he's gonna eat it. He's checking it out, seeing if he wants it. He's most likely gonna look for the head. Oh, no, he's got it. All right, so these guys are just about finished. Uh, the Arizona Mountain King Snake has been done for a while, and the Gray Banner King Snake is just about done. Um, but I am going to carefully, very very carefully, without distressing him out too much, place this back in. 
All right, so now for the last step is I gotta very carefully let the snakes go back into their enclosure. And there he goes. The big belly. Now time for me to very carefully place the last king snake to the cage and there he goes. Alright, well, <laughs> that wraps up the video for the day. Hope you enjoyed that video. It's a little bit different, but I thought I would show you anyways. Uh, if you want to see another cool video, click the link below of me actually encountering a wild Arizona mountain king snake. Super cool. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and see you later.